Hi, welcome to the Curl 2010. We're just going to look at some of the most basic features of one of our best-selling consoles today. So if we have a look at the desk itself, up here is the preset bank. This is where we save all our fixtures and all our lights, and we play them back from here. The blue buttons are where we patch them onto, and the grey key on the bottom row are for the palette keys. In run mode, these will be your flash keys. Down here, we have the playback section of the console. This is where we store all the cues and chases onto. Over here, we've got the master section. We've got the grandmaster that controls the intensity for the whole desk. We've got the preset master that works on this bank up here. The playback master that controls the playback section of the desk and the roller. And then the flash and swap masters, which control the blue and the grey buttons in run mode. Over here, we have the attribute bank. This controls all the attributes of your moving lights. So if you select dimmer, it'll control the intensity, colour, your colour wheel, and so on. Down here, we have the command line of buttons. So if you want to do something on the desk, such as patch or save, it'll be found down here. Over here, we have the numeric keypad. This is what you use for entering numerical values into the console, such as finding channels, finding palettes by number, things like that. Down here, we have our chase controls. So when you play back a chase, you can control whether it's going, stopping, or stepping through with these. Over here is possibly one of the most important sections of the desk. This LCD screen shows us what the desk is thinking, and all the menus we can get into. This, these soft keys down here control these menu buttons down here and they'll change depending what blue bank button you've selected and what mode you're in. This top left hand corner box is probably most important. It'll tell you what you need to be doing at any one stage. So when you go into patch, it'll tell you what you need to be doing next to patch something in. These two encoder wheels change again depending on what menu you're in. Usually we we'll use them with the attribute bank. So when we select dimmer, we can change intensity value with this encoder here. This key switch here enables us to change between the three modes the desk it has. System, at the top, enables us to get into the settings menu where we'll do all our wiping. In program mode, this is where we do all our saving, all our patching, and build the show in. When you turn the key to run mode, this is the safest mode for the desk to be in. So you can now no longer delete things or add your programming in any way. On the back of the desk, we've got four DMX universes and MIDI in and out, as well as sound to light. So that's basically a console. It's very simple.